Hey everyone, and welcome to a very special Flophouse place. It's 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 actually not that special. It's pretty standard. I don't know why I said that, but we are playing Blood Forge, which is which is again another uh, quality title from the House of James Small, but also the House of Me. I was super super hyped for this game. This was a Summer of Arcade, which is the most seventh generation thing you could ever say. When Microsoft would do big promotions for like, what is it like four five games per summer that were like digital um, Xbox Live uh, Arcade games and they'd have a little bit more money put in them and some of them were absolute bangers blood forge is it's more of a thumper rather than a banger but i still like it so this is a climax studios joint uh makers of silent hell shattered memories and a couple of other titles obviously so there's lots of modes there's lots of things here recommendations i always kind of found xbla titles tried to pad out their main menus a lot but um we're just gonna be playing blood forge wait is blood duel like multiplayer what is blood duel choose to duel the highest ranked friend for each level friend of you choosing a random pick from your friends list <gasps> is this multiplayer wait no in each level progress will show you how you compare against your chosen friend this isn't like no it's not like uh, pvp or anything that sucks uh, but what is this for people that don't know? It's a God of War game. Um, I think it's Nordic stuff. Well before God of War got into that sort of thing later. Um, it's it's honestly an interesting game. It's not the most polished, most investing game world you'll ever be in. But if you like blood and you like forging, there's a lot to like about Blood Forge. <laughs> Deers are quite erotic creatures. That is a line from Deadly Premonition. I'm not saying it. Here is our hero, Krom. His name is Krom. Now, I've never talked about this on a video. Krom is the coolest name for a fictional badass god. If, if you're going for a certain theme, Krom, you can't, you can't lose. Um, I love Krom and Fire Emblem. I love Krom and Conan lore. And this is our hero, Krom. Uh, I am hunting. For my family, family, family. I'm just a dude. I wear this cool mask, and and that's all you know about Krom here. Was a warrior, and he's a warrior. He fought in the bloodiest wars. <laughs> the bloodiest. Um, you'll know this because you can see that this game is the most desaturated, not quite Mad World levels, um, but it's it's done so so that you know the blood can be forged. He took a wife and made a home with her. He was happy. You gotta settle down at some point. You can't be, you can't be a buck of young forever. You know. He dreamt every night of the violence, of the blood, and the forge. One day, however, his dream was different. And yeah, I guess he's a little tuckered out. He had a big day, so I guess he's dreaming of the final fight in the game. I don't know. I've never actually beaten Blood Forge. I put at least a couple hours into it back when it was new. Um, this is a Microsoft-owned game, so you can play this on Xbox One X, and I'm sure it'll run a little bit better. I'm playing the 360 version, and this was heavily patched. Like, they put improvements and stuff to make this a bit more fun. Um, so I'll give that up for Climax. So you can see it's a little slashy-washy. Um, you have big hits and uh, faster hits. You have a little jump. Uh, you have, I think that's a grab, but the button's not active yet. Um, LT is just a dash in whatever direction you want. So it doesn't play exactly like God of War, but I mean, I mean, it's God of War. I'm very, very sad that the last thing I know that Climax worked on, I'm sure they've worked on some stuff I don't know, that was their really cool looking XBLA fucking Prince of Persia title, I'm, I'm gonna mention it, that Ubisoft just, like, let's not do that, let's make more Assassin's Creed, uh, because, you know, th that's, we need more Assassin's Creed and made the three Assassin's Creed games, 
um, Assassin's Creed Chronicles. None of those aren't terrible games, but I'd really have rather a new Prince of Persia. And a solid enemy design. Those are enemies. You're not going to not think they're enemies. All right, let's Blood Forge, y'all. For, for the viciest, fastiest attacks, it's that. I love how even though I look like a super cool Mega Man, uh, a manly dude, the enemies are all bigger than Krom. He, he, he looks like a little guy, a little like a little kid. LARPing. Uh, and this is his thing. Uh, a lot of uh, execution. Uh, whenever there's an enemy that's kind of zonked out, a uh, little stuff on his head, um, and a hard hit will usually do that. So you didn't think, you thought I was lying about Krom. It says it right there. Uh, here's his battle skills. It's all names like this March of the Drago, Maka's Warhorse, Spirit of Doom, Morphin's Visage, Belunge of Luch. Lulk's Wrath, Madness of Sandalaf, and that's just sword attacks. You get other weapons in this, actually. You get, like, Warhammers and shit. It's, it's, it's a real game. I sure hope my wife's okay. Sure hope she's alright. No, but where is she? I don't understand. Don't know where Elena is. Oh, no! Fucking punked. So yeah, this is, um, it's, it's God of War. <laughs> now, when a woman wants to settle down with a man that's wearing an animal skull, they have to be pretty choosy about who they decide to uh, be with. Um, Krom was not the right choice. Krom slept for days. <laughs> You're so tired. He awoke, oh, sleepy all the time. Whoa, look at that battle boar. The first thing he does after waking up. Oh man, I gotta fucking wrestle this boar. Oh shit, son. That was super easy. Ugh, the fucking crows are talking to me again. But it's not the regular Morgan sprite you're used to. Ooh, revenge. I don't even oh, no. know who I'm getting revenge on. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's the setup for Blood Forge. Basically from that on, I have to get revenge on whatever god decided to do this. Sound familiar at all? Okay, don't smash with that. This is only a kick. It's a kicking door. Did you not have a vision? Did I assumed I ate some mushrooms. With Aron, ruler of the gods. Aron? It was Aron I saw. Sorry if this is really scary, that Krom's shooting right at y'all. <laughs> it's just neat that you can do it. I really miss the summer arcade promotions. I think they were neat. Like, just the idea of, you know, shedding more light on certain games, uh, you know, digital-only games, and saying, hey, these are ones we were promoting a little bit more. Um, and now it's, like, kind of all mixed together. But, geez, I think Braid was one. Hydro Thunder Hurricane. Uh, Team and T game, I think. The gauntlet is a gift from the goddess Erton. Through it, you can take the power of your enemies. And then the you take the you sugar. To traverse the blood forge. The blood forge. Huh. That's make-believe shit for babies. To children. Oh, that's right. As yeah, you tell the children about the blood forge. <laughs> Now, when I was a kid, I'd love it if my dad was like, Little Matthew, you must traverse the Blood Forge. I'd be like, okay. I'm sure that won't curse you in some weird fucking way. Although I do like the bones. I'm a fan of the bonings. Nani! So I do like that they throw here El Gigante, or a Clive Barker creation here. So, like any game like this, it's like, take a few hits and just roll out of the way. Just never stop Fred Durst in it, like I like to say. The Blood Forge. I don't know what that gauntlet's even called. Oh, okay, well, the three guys I send against you. Yeah, that wasn't the best. Man, that's a Lord of the Rings style thing on his back there. Jesus, Cyclops? Kind of forget what this guy's deal was. 
I think it's a it's this is a great start for a game like you know in terms of I was joking that's not that immersive and I think as you go on the game gets a little dry and a little repetitive but Finn Balor so is this going for more of a Celtic vibe I'm kind of guessing the um the flannel kind of gives it away better not be a trap no trap they contain sacred items. Ooh, sacred items. Tell me more. You... And she's like, I'm out, I'm out. Oh, fuck. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. I like it because everyone screams in this game. Everyone's very angry. This is like the Asura's Wrath of video games almost. You're just throwing dudes at me? Alright, cool. I'm down for that. Alright, Captain Mud Flaps. <laughs> I don't know who that is. It's someone on my friends list that actually plays this game. Uh, sorry for that distracting meter at the bottom, but what can I do? I'm not sure if I can turn that off. You know, it's nice and visceral. It feels cool when you kill things, and that's all you can really ask. There is some bullshit happening down there. I can do this, though. One. Two. All right, the bow sucks. It took like seven hits. I don't, it didn't even really hurt him. And I don't even like. I try. I'm trying to remember. I don't even think you can like. There's combos for sure in this. Some more elaborate ones, but I don't think you can like juggle guys in the air. Like it's not really like a Devil May Cry or Bayonetta style thing. I don't think it gets that levels. All right, we good. We good. That was rank A. Letter I never saw much in school, but I see it in video games occasionally. And like, you know, you look at this and like, this is a Frank Frazetta game, right? It's it's very uh, Death Dealer-esque, which is cool. I would have even loved it. Like, he hadn't died, like, uh, he only died like a little while ago, like two years ago. Um, he could have certainly been a part of this to make concept art or the main illustration. Even Simon Bisley, Bisley, I never knew how to say his name. Um, you know, the British artist, uh, I guess mostly for uh, 2000 AD comics and stuff. And Judge Dredd and all that. Uh, Lobo. Weapon Lord, of course. Um, he would have also been a fantastic get for this game just to kind of do... Uh, some of the concept in. It would've been sick. So yeah, this is, like, you can see, even though this is an XBLA game, like, it still looks pretty awesome in terms of its art design, especially. What? Okay, Blood Bar. Yes, this is the system I was talking about. Collect the blood you spill to feed your berserker instincts. The more diverse and brutal ways you slaughter, the more blood you can earn. When Kron goes berserker, his love for you is like a truck. Um, uh, fill the segment of the blood bar and then press LB and RB together. So it's Rage of the Gods mode, essentially. But it's like Blood of the Blood mode. Yeah, and then, yeah, you can see that this, yeah, this is what you want to do a lot of the time to get rid of all the jobbers. Oh, Jesus. What a corpulent enemy. This game could have also been the Bane Chronicles, like Bane from Weapon Lord. I know there's lots of Bane style characters, but like that's the one I think of the most. Like, didn't Rune 2 come out on Steam not too long ago? Should I check that out? I have no idea. Like, it has a weird base building or like crafting mechanics, and I'm kind of like, oh, I just wanted like a Viking, you know, action game. So I'm not sure if it's something I would really enjoy yet. Okay, let loose my rage. Got it. So this is a forced rage. All right. Let loose the rage of Ireland. <laughs> what is this mirror I'm building up? It's like a fucking puzzle. So that was your rage attack. I had to do math to figure out that puzzle. That was awesome. Blood pits. Uh, they contain blood and lots of it. Pray to the blood god La Magra. God. Put a put a a day on the board. Another day when I haven't fucking referenced La Magra. The Shrine of the Gods. Captain Mudflaps, my ancient enemy. I forget who that is. Hey Rune Shrine, what's up? You look very blood forgy. <laughs> Well, I love even leveling up is aggressive in this. 
So yeah, this is another system where you pray to certain gods and you get like their attacks. And I think they have elemental properties. What are our gods here? Uh, Saronis invoked the horn gods, serpents. Yeah, you can throw out little snake helpers. This game's awesome. Uh, a Tyrannus will the thunder of Gaul and Nyimlem devour souls of the fallen. I want little snakes. I want little danger noodles. These are cool menus, by the way. I do think that Krom's running animation is very, I don't know, jaunty. Seems, it seems a little bard-esque. I, I don't know if you agree. That's a funeral pyre. If you remember that Venom comic, it's terrible. So that's smiting someone. So it's, whoa! Fucking awesome. I forgot how that looks. So that's using Tyrannus. Let's get those snakes out, huh? Look at that! That's super sick looking. It's kind of like V in, in DMC5 just because how it's like a sleek black creature. All right, so that horrible, ugly Cyclops who's always wrong and a bad leader of the X-Men. I think he's around here somewhere. Kick. <laughs> what a strong young fellow. You guys are just hanging around. What you got? Oh, pick up. First weapon, first weapon. Thanks, dude. I think a hammer's more this dude's style. Stonebreaker! New moves unlock fortitude! Fortitude of revengeance! Pain of the wind! There's nice big impacts on the hammer though, I like that. And totally different kill animations, which is always nice. So it seems like even though I had the, uh, the hammer selected, that these uh, brutal moves are only done with the sword, which I guess, you know, what it, 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 if that's what it's gotta be, that's what it's gotta be. Oh shit. That's, that was pretty definitive. So, anything behind the waterfall? Let's check it out. Very happy that uh, one of my favorite things in Prince of Persia Forgotten Sands got put in Is There Something Behind the Waterfall on Twitter? Go check that out, it's a great Twitter account. So there wasn't actually anything behind there, which is sad, but there's some mana over here, which is something, I guess. The entrance to the Blood Forge is at the end of this gorge. I'm still- I thought I had done it! Awaits you. I'm assuming you're the goddess and you're just tricking me. Oh, it, he was just hunkering down behind there listening to us. It's a big eye, don't get me wrong. Oh, I guess the bow is useful. It doesn't seem to be doing that much damage. Oh shit, what's this hand doing? Oh, press A. Alright, God of War time. Let's do it. Really didn't do that much damage, so we're already doing this, huh? I don't like his eye because it reminds me of like a cow's eye, which is never a fun time for anyone. You want to spoil the mood? Go to a party and just plop a cow's eye down. It's not great. This is a really, this is an awful looking boss. I don't mean like awful is in bad. I just mean like, I don't. <laughs> it is very Clive Barkery. I'm not like off base on that, yeah? Just looks like something from a Hellraiser film. Whoa, can I dash in the air? Yes, I can. Holy shit. Game changer. What's this dude that's in my way? He's got his ass up right in front of the camera. Get out of the way, asshole. His weak point seems to be his giant eye. Are you done? You're not done. Wait, you know, you're kind of done. No, you're not? Alright, cool. Let me know when you're done. I, don't, I think this is a poor idea you had, Krom. It's not over yet. It's not finished yet. What do you want? What, what do you want? Am I, am I getting in there? I'm getting in there. Ugh. It looks like a Graboid. Christ. All the games I'm playing lately have Graboids. Where am I? Holy shit, I thought it was inside him. Which is not a creature I want to be inside. <laughs> of all the creatures that I want to vore me, this is not I on the list. He only has a little bit of health, but there you go. You can tell because this is a pre-rendered movie. Yeah, Prey Slaughtered. I actually forget what the Blood Forge does. I think it's where I can actually buy moves, maybe. Feels all tingly in my knuckles. Ah, fuck it. So this is the Blood Forge, huh? It looks kind of underwhelming. 
honestly. So this is the um, forge of blood. It's a little hectic right now. The portal requires a blood sacrifice to open. Show I've me. got lots of that. <sighs> oh wait, no, problem? you idiot. Well, there is no one else here, Krom. You're here. To provide answers. They would die with me. Fair enough. All right. Well, I don't get it. Where am I supposed to get the blood from? <laughs> it makes no sense. I mean, have you anything left to lose? I... Is this some type of magic blood xylophone? Well, could I just cut my arm a little bit? She's like, whoa, dude, I... J I wanted you to, like, prick your thumb! What's all this, then? What is that in the middle? That's some Silent Hill shit. Which, I guess, is not too far off the mark since Climax did work on two Silent Hill games. I dream I saw Roar. What have I done to incur his wrath? Every god has a reason for their crime. I did nothing wrong! I did everything correct! Wow, that's a, that's a Twi'lek right there. I'm just saying. Alright, so he just passed out from impaling himself. Let's go over there. There's enemies, Jesus. What the shit? Oh, that's fucking James Small. He's the names of all my dead friends. Oh my god. Let's go over here, I guess. Land of the Dead. That font seems at so odds with all the other writing. But let's let's do it. It doesn't look much different from where it just was. All right, I think that's more than enough to uh, see what the Blood Forge is all about. You know, they do not make games like this anymore because this is strictly, you know, a couple of gens ago. But I still really, really enjoy them. Um, and like I said, this isn't going to have the most expressive characters, the most in-depth story. But if you're into these types of action games. Uh, I think this is maybe on Steam. I don't actually know. I'm sure some people can check for me, but you can still play it on an Xbox One if you have that, and I do recommend it. It's probably pretty cheap nowadays, too. Um, but yeah, Blood Forge. I'm not sure if there's enough here for me to continue the adventures of Krom. Let me know what other types of games like this you'd like to see me play in the comments, and I'll see what I can do for you.